Hey, welcome to another Petite Computer tutorial. This tutorial is going to go a little bit into a different direction. And I'm going to show you, because people have been asking, how to display a sprite. The first thing you do is type SP set like this. Parameters of the SP set command are usually the control number of the sprite. I typed that wrong. This is AP set. So you'll type SP set just like that. And then you'll type your control number, which is usually zero for your first sprite. And then a comma. Your comma can be found down here. Right there. Those are your commas. Commas and periods. Then you can just put zero. 0, 0, 0, there's four zeros after the first zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, One, two, three 4, I believe there's six total parameters. Those two at the very end are your horizontal rotation and your vertical rotation. And then you do the size, which is 16, comma 16. Now, now, the second parameter of your SP set is actually the uh, image of your sprite. Now, for petite computers default sprites, a lot of people don't know this. I'm not sure if the European version is even missing this, but I'm pretty sure in the European version of petite computer, the help is completely different. So in this help section here, if you go down one page, you click on sprite, there's SPU 0, 1, and SPU 2. This is 1 to 2, 0 to 1. So this table here shows you all the different sprites. So see this? This is the boy sprite and uh, some of the witch sprite. Those numbers underneath these pictures in the help of Petit Computer, those are the numbers you'll use for SP set. So for example, 64. So that's walking right. 68 is walking down. 72 is walking left. And 76 is walking up. These are the numbers you'll use for your directional walking for your sprite because if you use care set um, on your sprite, which I'll introduce you to in a minute, and then you type 64, then you type SP anim, your control number, the number of frames, which is 4, the amount of time between each frame, which I usually put as 8, the amount of times to loop it, which is usually 0, it'll repeat this animation. And it always starts the animation at the frame that the sprite is currently set to using SP care, and it always ends the animation at the frame you set the animation length to. So if you were to go SP anim 0, which is the control number, because you already set that, and then say 8 frames, SP anim 0, 8, 8, 1, loop 1s, it would actually play all 8 of these. And if you were to do it only four times, it would actually only play all four of these. So you can actually customize the uh, animation length. So, yeah, for those of you who didn't know about this, you can use that. And then that way, you know what all your sprites are. For those of you who are using the European version of uh, Petite Computer, this is what the people who are using the American version of Petite Computer get. They get all of this in their help. I talked to someone in the petite computer community and they explained to me that uh, their European version is only like something like two, three pages. We get all of these different things in ours. So that's why on forums a lot of people will tell you to use the help in the game because you actually get all these things to use to learn about it. But it doesn't really teach you how to play game, how to like make games or do anything. So, 
So we're going to set this to the boy sprite by changing the cursor over here to the first zero, like this, six, four. And we're going to go down a line and go spoffs so we can actually see it S P O F S. Oh, geez, my guess is dying. Zero, because that's the control number. The control number is the number you use at the beginning of your SP set. So if you put zero here, then for your spoffs, you're going to put zero as the first number. If you put one here, then for spoffs, you're going to put the first number. Usually, most of the sprite commands, the first number is the control number. That's just the number you use. It can be anything between 1 and 99. And then we're going to put the X and the Y. The X is the sprite's um, horizontal position on the screen. So it'll go zero. Whoops. So if you think of this grid as like actual positions, this is eight, this is 16, and so on and so on. If you were to start from here, but usually it starts from here. So you'd be like zero, eight, 16, 32, 24, 32, and so on. We're gonna put 100 and then 100. And we're going to put the amount of time to, to move here is zero. That will display the sprite right away. Then we're going to hit run. And there's our sprite. It's the first tutorial of sprites. Oh.